Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. That's Ben exiting the room that you can see behind. Yeah. I am organising the wardrobe today. I said I would show you what I was doing, so I'm going to show you. I've just finished folding all my knits. I say all my knits, I don't think this is all of them, but this is what we're going to start with. So I folded them all and they're going to go in the bottom of this wardrobe here. I have put everything in here, but nothing is organised yet. Um, but I have this space at the bottom, so I feel like this is a perfect space for knits. I can just see them, grab them, and go with them. So, I've organised them into colour coordination. So, the blues and the greys, and the pinks, and the reds and the oranges, yellows, whites, beige, and so on and so forth. So, now I'm going to put them all in. I think I'm going to start with the blues and greys and then work up to the hottest so like the white I think so start with the blues and greys head up have the warm colors in the middle um and then yeah should look really nice at the bottom of the wardrobe okay hopefully you are balanced there and can see what I'm doing um but yeah I've literally just got all my knits together putting them in Okay, that is knitwear done and in the wardrobe. It's not the neatest it could be, but I'm happy with it anyway. With limited space, this is what you have to do. So, got the darker colours right at the back, and I know I wear these kind of colours the most. So, those are the ones that are at the front. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so what I've done in terms of wardrobe organising, I bought all matching hangers from Amazon. I'll link them down below, the ones I got. Um, and they're space saving hangers, so they are these ones. They're non-slip, they've got velvet kind of um, shoulders and everything, and then just a silver hook. Now they did have a really, really pretty like cream beige one that I did really like, but we already had a few of these. I mean, I'm talking like five or something. So I thought to save, save a little bit, um, we would just go with these, and so far they've been great. I also bought the matching skirt and trouser hangers so we've got all of them to go with and I think I bought 30 yeah 30 in the trouser hanger um and they've done really well so far so yeah I have currently these are the last hangers Ben very kindly donated these to me um because we had 50 each and I've used up all my 50 so yeah I'm gonna have these and then he can have some more when the next delivery arrives um I still have loads more to hang up and I haven't organised this. I'm going to colour coordinate all of this because that's just how I like to see everything visually. Um, it makes me happy. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And then so if I show you what I've got in all the wardrobes, then it'll make a little bit more sense. So this section, sorry, I'm climbing over boxes. Let me just move this stuff. This is the rest of the room, by the way. <laughs> so, these ones are Ben's, and I'll give you a peek inside his, because he has colour-coordinated all of his. It looks really nice. He had loads more he could have shared with me. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, this is his blazers, and he's got his hat and his bag up there. It looks so neat. He's got loads of space. And then in here, not so neat. <laughs> I've been giving him a lesson on folding the jumpers so these ones at the top he's going to organize all his jumpers like these ones so they're nice and neat and you don't have all these bits hanging off um and then all his trousers looking really neat as well again i said to him to turn them all around so that you've got the knees facing rather than the ends facing so he's going to do that with all of them as well um but yeah it's starting to look starting to look quite good in here and he's got all his coats hanging up which look really smart and I did worry that this bit was going to be quite protruding and he wouldn't be able to really hang or get anything back here. But that gap is not, there's not a lot there. So he's actually got a lot of space to play with. But that's his side. So then if we go to my side, I've not, I've hardly put anything in here so far. So these I think are going to be shoes and then maybe like tops and things like that. Um, I've got a long space at the bottom for boots, then I've got skirts and dresses, like short stuff, and then blazers and short coats at the top. Again, nothing has been organised, uh, because I like it to all be in colour coordination. And then on this side as well, I've got all my long dresses and long coats and things. 
Hello, madam. You all right? What are you doing? Did he come to say hi? Hello, darling. Hi, sweetie pie. Oh, and you. <laughs> you can't resist a cuddle, can you? Okay, not in the face. Not in the face, dogs. Hello. Hello. Yes, I love you both too. Okay. No. Puppy. Puppy. What have we talked about? No getting possessive. No getting possessive. <laughs> How can you resist that face? She's too much. She's too much. Hello, boy. Pet, be nice. Be nice. Licking him aggressively. Hello, boy. Hello, boy. You both give as good as you get, don't you? Don't you? You're going to go and play now? Go on then. Off you go. Out. Out. Thank you. <laughs> Little monkeys. Okay, basically exactly the same outfit. Different day. It's now Friday. Um, and we... I ran out of coat hangers, so I couldn't do any more in the bedroom. But I have decided it's so cold right now. I'm actually going to go and get the Dyson Hot and Cool from upstairs and bring it down here because I'm so cold. Um, but... I'm feeling super autumnal and I have a craving for donuts so I really want to try and make donuts. Donuts aren't something I've ever made before but um, I was flicking through our Leon vegan cookbook and I found a recipe for donuts so I have an idea to make. My parents also by the way came over yesterday and brought loads of apples from the garden. Sorry that's the dishwasher emptying. Um, so loads of cooking apples so I hope you can hear me over that. I want to make apple cinnamon donuts. Oh, I can already taste them in my mouth. I kind of want to put like custard in there or something as well, but I don't want it to be too much. Maybe I'll pour custard over the... Okay, my mouth is watering now. <laughs> I don't know about you. But, so, I'm going to try and make them. And also, I got a little bit worried because I was flicking through the recipe book and it said you need a hand um, or a stand whisk. And I don't have that, I only have my little hand whisk. But I realised, I suddenly realised I have an attachment that I've never used before on my whisk. Lo and behold, those are dough kneaders, they're dough hooks. So, I'm all set to go. Apparently you only have to stand the dough for an hour, so that's perfect. So I'm going to make these and then I'm going to get cracking again in the bedroom. Um, and hopefully, Ben has gone to the gym, so... Yeah, I've done nothing to earn these donuts, but I'm looking forward to them anyway. So I'm gonna get cracking, make them now, and then I should have yummy donuts for Ben when he comes home from the gym. Okay, Ben got home before I was finished, but the dough is Oh, were you trying to ready. do it before without me knowing? Yeah, no, I was going to try and do it before we go home. I might have noticed a big pile of dough in the corner somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've made the dough. It's now in a greased bowl here, and it's now got to go prove itself in the other room. So I'm going to take it next door. We've got the air dryer. Air dry what do you call it, Ben? Do you want to call? No, no, the, the heated dryer thing. Oh, the dryer rack? Yeah. Interesting, all right. I think so. So this is our um, drying rack for our clothes. So I'm gonna pop it literally next to that or on it. On it or next to it? I'm gonna figure this out. Hold on, let's put you there. How hot is it? Yeah, I think that's okay. If I put it on the knits. Yeah. So I'm going to put it there. It's warm. It's not hot. It's warm. And it's on top of the knits as well. So the knits are absorbing the majority of the heat. So I'm going to leave it there for about an hour. It should double in size. And then I can come back to it and make some yummy donuts. Okay, you're currently rested on my sock drawer. But I'm just getting all my shoes out. Um, we've currently... We've had them on a rail in the box room for the last year so since we moved in and obviously they've just been gathering dust and because we haven't been able to get to proper outfits we haven't been mixing and matching things properly so my poor shoes are so dusty i can't even tell you so i'm going in with this little j cloth and i'm not gonna lie this is working so perfectly to pick up the dust from everything even from shoes like this so this is a pair of asos ones i have loads of shoes from lk bennett from when i used to work there um 
and I've got things like these that I got earlier this year which I just haven't had a chance to wear sadly. I did wear them a few times like in the garden and around the house because why not. Um, but yeah I'm putting them all on the shelves. I have realised that I maybe didn't make the shelves big enough to account for boots and all my ankle boots were a lot higher than I thought they would be which is slightly annoying but I've put them all on the bottom and then all my heels and stuff can go at head height so they're the things that I see when I open the wardrobe because shoes make me happy um so I'm getting everything out and putting them all on the shelves oh these are just I mean if these are still on the website I'll link them down below but I just think they are the most beautiful shoes I mean, can you even? Ah, oh, I love them. Hello, Oscar. <laughs> He's so funny. He keeps coming in to see what we're doing. Right, so these are gonna go up on the shelf. Okay, I'll have all my satin ones on the front, I think. So that's these. I don't want to drop shoes. These ones that I love. These are from ASOS. Um, I'll link similar if they have similar. And these ones as well are just amazing. These are from Paradox London. And they're just they're just a classic and so beautiful and i just love the color okay so i've just cleaned up all these shoes and they're gonna go in as well um oh, these ones i think i need to get a lint roller over because the dust is just not coming off it's just that kind of velvet that sticks like everything sticks to it can you see so annoying so yeah, I'm putting them in one facing the back, one facing forward like that so I can fit three on a row. Otherwise I can only fit two. I'm just working out how I want them all to go. Maybe that one there, this one here, and then maybe some LKBs here. Oopsie, oopsie. Not doing very well with this. Maybe like that and then hopefully I can fit another set of shoes here so I love when shoes tell stories and I have a few pairs in here that I've worn for specific occasions so for instance these ones are my wedding shoes so they are Kurt Geiger they're a size 5 I've been a size 5 for as long as I can remember um, and they are just a beautiful like glittery sparkly heel with a super high heel because I'm so tiny and my dress was really long and I wanted to have like a good bit of lift throughout the day um, and these I found were really really comfy so yeah I wore these for my wedding day and I've worn them maybe like once since for a shoot um, and to be honest they do look really really worn but i do think they are such a beautiful pair of shoes and when my wedding was on i literally couldn't find anything that would work so all i could find were things like this which obviously is beautiful but not high enough for what i needed so yeah i really needed that platform at the front to be comfy as well and those ones were just so perfect then we're going even higher i have these that i wore to the after party at the Rosewood so this was the I know we don't talk about him anymore but the Harvey Weinstein BAFTAs after party and besides who hosted it um, the actual party itself was unbelievable and um, yeah we I was there with Anissa I met Anissa there um, and we were there as guests of Grey Goose and that was the night that we actually locked eyes with Leonardo DiCaprio so he came in, we were sitting on Harvey Weinstein's table, um, chatting to his then wife, I don't think they're together anymore, and um, Leonardo DiCaprio came in to say thank you, and I couldn't say anything, he said hi to us, and I was just starstruck, couldn't open my mouth, and that has never happened before, I very rarely get starstruck, um, and yeah, I, I just, I very rarely kind of fangirl over anyone, but yeah, that was just a real like, oh my god it's actually leo <laughs> standing there so yeah so these are very special and shoes like this i will keep forever these are actually also kurt geiger oh they're a size four these ones um i think because they are super super high and they really push your foot forward i wanted to know that i was supported and i wore a beautiful ted baker dress if i can find the photo i'll insert it here um i wrote a blog post about the whole thing because it was really an incredible night um and who else was there? The main actor from Breaking Bad, who I hadn't seen Breaking Bad at the time, but Ben had, and 
massively fangirled over him and he got a picture with him, I can't remember what his name is. Um, but yeah, so it was an amazing night. What other, I think, I think that's it. I think those are the only two pairs with like proper stories attached to them. Then I've got some that I've worn for like loads of different occasions, but yeah, those are the main ones. Just got back from doing a little supermarket shop and my dough has definitely risen quite a bit. So I'm now gonna roll it out onto the surface and then I'm supposed to cut it into circles. Apparently, I need to cut a hole out the middle as well, but I want to make filled donuts, so I don't want to cut the middle out. So hopefully it's still gonna work and the temperature of everything is gonna be right. I have no idea how I'm gonna do the temperature of the oil. So we're just gonna have to hope and see. <laughs> I think you can put some bread in it and test it, but um, yeah, fingers crossed it works. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. I have to roll it out and then prove it again once I've cut it, um, and then they go in the oil, so. Yeah, wish me luck. I set out on a road that I built with my own two hands. I met friends on the way, people chosen to make a stand. I felt strong in the sun as I walked onto Pastor's Green. Saw forgiveness together as bases in. Okay, first donut is in. It didn't exactly hold its shape, to be honest. I think that's done. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Maybe I'll leave it a little bit longer. Um, but yes, yeah, it didn't hold its shape because mine are really sticky and I'm not sure why. But I think it's going to come out in a second. But not bad for a first attempt. I'm surprised it fluffed up because obviously they look like that. And I just did not think it was going to rise. So I'm quite happy that it has. Adventures they brought me to places I've never been. But you can walk through this world without a few punches. Okay, it looks like we're getting the hang of it. This one I'm super happy with. This is one that's gone in there. Alexa's about to tell me that the timer is done. Alexa off. So it's two minutes. Let's hope they're perfect. We are sitting in the garden. We've got the fire going. I've got one of the donuts. They actually, what do you think? Hold on. Verdict? Amazing. Really? Mm -hmm. I really, I'm quite impressed with myself for a first attempt at donuts. Really good. Slightly sourdough, which I like. Yeah. The fire is roaring. The dogs are happily hungry. next to us and hungry. <laughs> and the donuts, I'm just, I'm genuinely really, really pleased with myself for making these. So they've got the toffee apple filling and they have cinnamon sugar outside and they are just amazing so the recipe will be up on my blog very very soon hopefully i'll have it live before this vlog goes live um so you can head over there and give yourself that proper autumnal hit um but yeah it's just such a nice evening to be able to sit out in the garden we haven't this is the first time we've lit the fire and it's just so lovely it's absolutely beautiful decided to have supper outside and Ben has cooked us a gnocchi with, what's it got on it? Spinach, pesto, peas. Looks delicious, bub. Next to the roaring fire. It's 
bit smoky. <laughs> and a little snippet of Oscar. New. Excuse me, boy. New. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this. Thanks, Bella. Right, I am making supper, so I thought I would pick you guys up um, and show you what I'm doing. I'm making a vegan. Can you see me there? I'm making a vegan leek mushroom and potato pie. I think I'm gonna put some peas in there as well and some spinach, we'll see how much I can get in. This is my pie base currently and I've got the top rolled out too. So I'm gonna um, keep going with that. Run out of footage. Hopefully it'll all be able to fit, um, but it's gonna be a yummy like cozy supper. I'm so cold at the moment, so I just want all the like warming vibes do you know what i mean so um yeah it's gonna be a nice cozy cozy day i've been writing up a blog post i'm doing the um toffee apple recipe from last night so uh toffee apple donut recipe sorry from last night so hopefully that'll be up by the time this vlog goes up so you guys can all run off and make toffee apple donuts because honestly they are amazing really easy to make i was so shocked um and yeah, I just think they are what we all need right now. Especially in these like weird times, I just find like so much comfort in food. I don't know if anyone's the same, but my family have always been really big foodies and the like evening meal especially is like such a meal to be savored and we would all always sit around the kitchen table and eat. So Ben and I always sit together and eat, um, whether that's around the kitchen table. The majority of the time it is at a table, whether that's the kitchen or outside, but sometimes we do for a treat like to sit in front of the TV um, and eat our supper. But yeah, I just think it's so nice to just like wind down in the evenings and chat and have that time all together like as a family, no matter how big or small your family is. So yeah, I'm gonna get cracking with this. I still have a few things to organize in the wardrobe that I promised I would do with you guys. So um, yeah, if I don't do that today, I'll do that tomorrow, but it will be in this vlog, so don't worry. I'll show you the completed organized wardrobe before this vlog is up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and get cracking, chopping up all my veg. <laughs> Okay, this is what the pie is looking like. So I just need to glaze it with a bit of egg and then we are good to go. So here we go, this is the pie finished. It is leek, potato and mushroom pie with gravy and peas as well. The dogs are not looking very happy that they don't get any, hey? <laughs> so funny. Sunday today. Um, ben and I have had a super lazy day. I just said good morning, didn't I? It's actually 1.17. Um, I've just put the pie in the oven from last night, so we're gonna have that in a second. My lips look really pale. I just put some lip balm on. But you know when you do your makeup and you've got like foundation lips, that's happened. So yeah, it's quite late in the day. We've had a really, really lazy day. Literally, we've been watching The Haunting of Hill House. I've seen it before, but I'm re-watching it with Ben because he's not seen it. And we finished The Haunting of Blind Manor. If you've seen it on Netflix, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I wasn't that impressed with The Haunting of Blind Manor. Um, I thought it was good. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoy like a lot of these things and I can see the good parts and the bad parts, but um, I was expecting a horror and I didn't really get a horror. But um, yeah, I need to finish organizing today, don't I? The pie has 12 more minutes in the oven, um, but I know I promised an organizing video and this hasn't really been an organizing video. So I need to get cracking and finish that room today. We still don't have a mattress, but the pictures are up. I'll actually take you up there now. Pictures have now gone up. This is the one you see as soon as you walk in through the door. I love it. This is an R, I think it's Rossini. Um, but this came from my parents collection and they've just had it for years and it was just sitting collecting dust so I commandeered it for this room and then this is the piece of art that I created 
and I just think it looks beautiful above the bed here, adds lots of nice colour. I'm going to go back a bit so you can see the full thing. But yeah, really pleased with it. We just need the mattress, obviously. Um, and again, this mirror is not going to be here. And we're still trying to sell this chair. So yeah, lots of things to do still. But I need to get rid of this awful, awful mess. Um, and figure out what to do with everything. So I'm going to get cracking with that now. I think I lost you somewhere between 20 and 23 Okay, all the wardrobes are getting pretty full now. This one especially, this is all my coats and maxi dresses and stuff for autumn winter. So I'm going to give this one a bit of a um a bit of a tidy through and I'm going to attempt to put everything in colour coordination. Actually, I have just noticed there's a few pieces in there that I normally save until spring, so I might whip out a few of them. Um, for instance, like this one I love, but I feel like the colours are more spring-like rather than autumn winter. So yeah, I think I'm going to take that out, probably this one too because that's quite like a spring coat. Um, and then hopefully we'll have a little bit more space. <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna start with black through to white maybe. I think that's probably the best way to do it. But I still hold you dear despite the heartbreak you caused in me. Cause you were with me through my night. Okay, so that is then dresses color coordinated and coats color coordinated. I am quite happy with that although I am looking at this yellow I'm wondering if it should go between the red and the pink or oh, tricky don't know maybe I'll come back to that one it might annoy me in a few days time and I'll and I'll change it okay so on to this one this should be a little bit easier because there's less in here it's too hard to just miss me doing my dance of joy because I've cracked it I'm so tired um, and I'm so ready to sit down and edit this video so that I can hopefully get it live for you guys what is the time time now is four o'clock so this video needs to go live in two hours um, but yeah I've done it I finished it I'm so happy so I'll give you a little tour of what it's looking like sadly I thought I'd have enough room for bags but um no so we're gonna have to figure out what we do with all the bags. We do still have the 75 wardrobe that I think might go in the jungle room. So um, if it does, I'll give you another tour of that. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this looks. I feel like it's really usable. I can reach everything. Before I carry on, I'll just flip the camera around and show you what I've done. So starting at the very top, I have a lot of wasted space behind this, but this is trousers. Um, and so we literally, this is all my trousers, so that's good. I initially had it hanging, but decided there wasn't enough room. So they have been folded and put up there. Then I have roll necks. Obviously everything is in color order. Next to the roll necks, we have just t-shirts um, and strappy tops. Then we have a line of shoes, another line of shoes, and another line of shoes. Then we just have an underwear drawer. Um, and then we have like, this is a little bit of a mess, I still need to sort it out, but these are all scarves and then we've got belts on the right hand side here and then socks on the left hand side here. So that's that one. And then down below we have longer boots, so they're all down there with a random basket because it's quite a tall one and I thought that was the best spot for it for now. Then if we go along and start at the bottom here, we've got shorter dresses so that can be worn with tights and things. Um, obviously in colour order. Then we have skirts in the middle and then we've got tops to the left. Then if we pan up, we have blazers and short jackets. And then if we come in here, I ended up moving the big bird yellow jacket. Um, we have dresses, jumpsuits and maxi skirts all here. We've got the knits at the bottom which I've showed you before and then all the coats on the right hand side and I'm so happy with this because I can see everything now, I can get to everything. I'll just bring the sleeves out so I can see them but yeah, oops, tripping up over everything on the floor. 
so so pleased with how this looks let me open it so i can show you everything so yeah that's my completed wardrobes look who has decided to join me for the end credits guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really helps this channel grow don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye